Hello and welcome, this is Carlos Bosch, the legendary brand ambassador from Corpus Belli Studios. Behind the camera is Connie, the super admiral space of the workers of Father Space. And this is the super video for Gen Con 2019. 2019. <laughs> 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 seguimos, seguimos, seguimos. This is the video. We have so much stuff to talk about. So much stuff. Okay. We have, we have three games now, so we have a lot of these cars. So, let's begin from the beginning. This is the planning of 2019 that we have already been through, okay? You have seen that there were released three expansions for Aristeia, the Spiral Core box, the Operation Wildfire box for Gen Con right now. After Gen Con, we're going to have the beginning of the new leagues, the Super Kickstarter that is coming, so we have a lot to talk about, really. So, are you ready? Because I have tons of stuff to show you. Are you ready? Really? Okay, here we go. Let's begin with Aristeia. Aristeia, the character-driven combat arena game from Corvus Belli with plastic miniatures, okay. Easy to play, hard to master, incredibly enjoyable, okay? I play this game every Friday, okay? So, we have tons of stuff to discuss because this year has been awesome for Aristeia. The most lovely skins, the most lovely expansions, lots of stuff happening. And, and the game has a fan base and a tournament scene that is growing every day. So, let's remember, we began the year with Chemical Brothers, okay? The Hacky Slam characters, toxic, full of poison and stuff like that. I have here the guy who breaks the wall. <laughs> Unstoppable, hammerhead. Okay, apart from that, Master of Puppets, I have here Fielder with me, the, the guy who deploys storage. Lovely expansion, very meaningful in the game. Okay, now for Gen Con, Reckless Hearts with Axel Steel breaking everybody's legs. I love that guy, okay? So, we have an incredible roster of characters. Something that I have to tell you is that we are pushing for 2020, the final expansion of the year, so it's no longer featuring in the calendar, okay, if double trouble will happen in 2020 because we don't want it to collide with all the stuff that Corpus Valley is releasing <laughs> by the end of the year, okay. And apart from that, I should also remind you about the incredible skins that have been appeared, metal miniatures for Aristeia during the year, like Major Luna, Elven Ranger, okay, also the full metal Cosmo, I think that's the best model of Corvus Valley of the year, in my opinion. It's incredible, okay? Apart from that, Lakshmi, uh, Shaman skin, okay? Incredible also. And now I have a new one to show you, and this one is... If something can rival Cosmo skin, is this one, in my opinion, okay? Let me show you. Boom! 8-Ball! 8-Ball Oni, okay? A uh, Japanese demon, okay? Look at the design. It's full of details. Look at how many layers Alberto Abal has designed it for covering the huge silhouette of 8-Ball uh, with elements. We have a giant squid over there, and then the samurai armor, and then the, the, the Oni, the demon mask over there. Wanna see how this translates into 3D? There you go, okay. Oni skin for 8-Ball. One of the characters from the core box now has finally a huge metal miniature for him, okay. Get it now. Apart from that, we have tons of stuff for the new event kit for Aristeia, okay? It comes with Wild Bill, with a mat, a lovely mat, like a poker mat for the cars, okay, Wild Bill. Lovely card, plastic card, special edition, and the final super cool miniature of Wild Bill. Incredible event kit for Aristeia. Apart from that, expect later in the year the release of the advanced tactical deck, okay? 20 cards that you can replace uh, with 10 cards, uh, your general core box set of uh, generic cards. So you can have, depending on which uh, ones you choose, you can make uh, your deck have more control over the rolls or have more control over the cards. You will see that in depth in the future. It's a new way to play Aristeia and brings more joyful to the whole game. Corvus Belli is fully committed to support this game because we love it so much and we're going to release lots of stuff for it. So. It's time to jump in. Incredible things for Aristeia happening still in 2019 and later in the 2020 also. So, what are you waiting for? Okay, so now let's talk about Infinity. Okay, the most recent must-have product for Infinity is obviously Operation Wildfire. We had a whole thing week about that particular product. 
let me just uh, repeat that the whole wildfire box just the box is an enjoyable experience in itself okay you can have hours of enjoyment and, and, and playing infinity with that box only without having to get anything from, uh, out from it but apart from that we have an incredible bundle we have lots of stuff that makes the experience even bigger you can expand over that is the it's perfect first step to for getting into infinity okay so remember operation wildfire with their lovely miniatures sasbasti against o12 apart from that we have a lovely advanced pack that was uh, available from the bundle and apart from that fine finishing the bundle we have the valkyr okay the limited edition miniature of the valkyr which uh, can be handled in all the games from corvus valley right now she's like a, ne a cosmical nexus in, in the space really and now let's talk about what else beyond Operation Wildfire. What does it has? What does it come with? Okay, let me show you the miniatures and the designs and the renders of those miniatures. We have Cuervo Goldstein, the character from O12. Here you have the design, okay? And here you have the 3D render of this Delta Trooper uh, Basilisk Elite Super Level, okay? That is the like the, the, the final guy, the final, <laughs> the the most incredible Delta Trooper of the whole of 12 army, and is also the avatar of Carlos Torres in the game. You should know that Carlos Torres doesn't like cameras, but so if you want to look at his face, you have the miniature to look at. Apart from that, Beta Troopers like robots for 12, okay, in, in a certain way like Dakinis for 12, lovely miniatures. Look at the 3D over there, uh, very menacing silhouette. These kind of robots always have very menacing silhouettes. Also, the Omega unit for 012, the heavy infantry, and this comes in beyond wildfire. Look at the 3D right there. Look at how menacing and big Silhouette 2 is not Silhouette 5 as the Gamma. Okay, this is smaller, but it's still a heavy infantry. Moving on, we have another Caliban in beyond wildfire. There's one in wildfire, but this one is the one with the Spitfire, the demolishing one, the powerful one. Okay, and comes in beyond wildfire. Take a look at the 3D render. Look at how menacing that weapon looks over, over him. Apart from that, we have the Malignos coming back. New design for the Malignos. Here it is. And take a look at the miniature made by Javier Urenia. There you go. Okay. Malignos. And finally, the character that is stealing all the spotlight here. The character that is menacing everybody. Okay. She's king. Okay. Cadmus Nice. She's king. And she's coming back in her new form. This is the design. And this is the 3D render of the most menacing combined army troop right now the, the hottest spot in the meta of the game right now she's king okay so enough of wildfire you should know that all these miniatures have a lot of life not only in infinity but even beyond that because corvus belly is making awesome things happen in this year so check it out the whole bundle works uh, a lot of your attention the beyond box is also something that you should look at and there are more things coming later in the year that will expand your collection of infinity figures So let's talk about the online campaign that Corvus Belli is preparing in collaboration with Beast of War. This time is the Asteroid Blues and it's the first time a campaign is happening on the human edge. The final frontier for humanity, okay, that strange place in the universe where nothing is uh, totally defin defined, nothing is totally conquered by no, no faction. There are asteroids right there where, uh, where humanity collects some resources, but nobody is, is totally uh, dominant 
uh, as a faction in that particular place. It's the final frontier of humanity. There is just a little fluff written about that part of the universe, and it's a very mysterious spot to jump in. And with this campaign, Asteroid Luz, finally, the writer for Corvus Belli, Gutierrez Quinos, is going to deliver a full lot of fluff and definition and places and names and a lot of very, very inspiring uh, writing so we can know more about the human edge. We're going to the Novik Bangkok asteroid, which is an asteroid that has a lot of stories to tell, and all the factions are going to converge to, 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 to find themselves over there fighting for domination. Okay, so we have made some lovely panels of artwork in order to define the lovely spots that you will find in Novik Bangkok, and many missions are going to be played there, and you can make your battle reports and score points and have an evolution of a map in an online campaign that will happen in September. Okay, so it's going to be lovely. Every year, the communities of players get together in playing these online campaigns, and it's something very special because they like to role play the factions uh, and they do it very well. And, and finally, the results of those battles, in a certain way, are portrayed officially in the fluff. So it's like a way of translating the fluff into the players, but the players also deliver lovely strokes for the fluff. So it's a very interactive campaign. The communities get together and some players some, sometimes they tell me that they are not into tournaments they have no time for going to tournaments but they can enjoy these online events but because they can play at home and, and report their battles so it's another way of enjoying infinity and it's a moment where we can all get together hate each other fight each other and score points so feel welcome to play once again an online campaign let's see who wins this year every year we're becoming better and better at it and this year, for the first time, O12 is going to be playable as a faction in the campaign. So something new is happening, okay? So take a look at this final panic of the strip of Novi Bangkok, okay? The, the ultimate frontier, a, a street where everything can happen. And this is one of the environments where Wild Bill happen to 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 be around okay while well, bill is this character from aristeia okay that is now becoming the ultimate prize miniature of tournament kits for both aristeia and infinity because yeah the big news is that while bill is now playable in infinity okay here we have the infinity design for while bill some lovely artwork the three render the painted miniature and let me share with you the true profile right there okay yeah, legendary gangslinger with marksmanship with fatality. Okay, and he will be available for US Ariana, Capu Kalki, Ramatas Force, and Frey Company. <laughs> so, yay, big news! Things happening all the time in Infinity. You never get bored. So, moving on with this mercenary set, we have here the design of Carmen Jones and Batag, the, 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 the loyal bulber that goes with her next to her bike. And we have here the 3D render, there you go, lovely 3D render, Carmen Jones, okay, remember, available in Tartari Army Corps. Apart from that, another design here for Pano, Echo Bravo, right now Varuna is so hot right now. So hot right now. Some people are playing that saying that Baruna is now the most powerful army in the meta. I will have to see it to believe it, really. But some people are really enthusiastic about Baruna Intervention Division. We have another miniature for the Echo Bravo with the Light Rocket Launcher right here. Take a look. Okay, something for the Nomads, shall we? Okay, Puppet Masters and with the Puppet Bots, the Puppet Tactica Company, okay? When they got all together, they have this lovely artwork and they have this lovely 3D renders. Puppet Tactica Company for the Tunguska Jurisdictional Command. What else? What about Yuchin? Yuchin number one! Okay, so let's come with the Mo One troops. Okay, Silhouette 5 Heavy Infantry for Yuchin, for the Invincible Army. And here is how it looks in 3D. And remember, this blister is going to have one body and two different sets of arms. One with Red Fury and the other with Multi Rifle. You will be able to compose different combinations of arms with this body. So a more complete blister than usual. Apart from that, also, the design of the Hull and Shock Troopers, okay, and the miniature in 3D looks like this. School face, very menacing. Apart from that, bonus track, Tai Sheng, <laughs> the female character from the Invincible Army that has huge combos and huge meta meaningful in every tournament and every Invincible Army table. There you go, female Invincible. So what else do we have here to show you? For Hack Islam, something for Hack Islam, let's go. The Nahab Arrow Mobile Team is going to be a box with three miniatures. Look at that. Male design, female design, and the three renders look like this, okay? 
Moving on. What about the foreign company? What about Hannibal? Okay. What about Senior Massacre? What about Lakshmi? And what about Valkyr? When we put them all together, they are the soldiers of fortune. And because now they're playable in Infinity, we're putting all them together in a box so everybody for the foreign company can buy it. And when all together, they look like this. Look at that! Look at that, come on, lovely. You can see the other combination of arms, alternative miniature skull for Valkyr, okay? You can see Senior Massacre jumping around. I mean, that pose, Connie, that pose should have been the pose for Gata, for Aristella, in my opinion. Okay, lovely miniature for Hannibal and for Lakshmi. And everybody is packing crates these days. It's tactical crates now. <laughs> lovely box, I hope you like it. So finally, you can see a little sample here of the rooster of uh, coming releases for September and October. And that's it for Infinity. Now, now let's get serious because we have to talk about Defiance. Okay, Infinity Defiance, if you're not aware of what is this, okay, let me tell you, Corvus Belli, since the beginning of the year, has been working in a lovely, incredible project, okay, that is going to be launched through Kickstarter, it's going to be a crowdfunding campaign of a new game, it's a dungeon crawler set on Infinity Universe, okay, and the name is Defiance, and I have here the box, and it looks like this, okay, Corvus Belli right now is working in, in order to fill this huge box of contents, of stuff, of miniatures, of cardboard, of tiles, dice, markers, cards, cards, cards and more cards, in order to make the most demolishing, incredible, lovely, powerful, mm, super okay uh, dungeon crawler infinity theme, okay? We are right in the middle of the process of making this game and we were able to put together a lovely prototype for Gen Con, okay? But do, ne do not even judge the whole game from that prototype. That is far from the final result that we're going for, okay? It's going to be huge, full of miniatures and awesome stuff, really. We have an incredible game going on. The ideas, the, 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 the designs and all the experience that we're having when testing is very inspiring and very promising for us. So we're going for making the most awesome Kickstarter game ever. That's our intention, okay? So let me show you, let me show you stuff. We have here four heroes, four characters that are going to, you know, the, the basic ones from the core set, but there will be more. There will be heroes, allies, even friendly remotes going with them, okay? Every faction will be represented. Lots of stuff is going to happen with Defiance, okay? We have Cadin First Strike, okay? The Wolver from Ariadna, who is a beast in close combat. We have Uma Sorensen, the Mask Woman, okay, from Pano, Elite Shooter. We have uh, Hazmin Jazz, the hacker expert from the Nomads. We have Kian Gao, the heavy infantry from Yuching, and more stuff will happen in the future. In fact, the information now is very cut because we are saving stuff for the Kickstarter campaign. But you will be amazed, believe me. Okay, we have lots of enemies coming for this game. Apart from having Cadmus and Nox and Guelos on the board, which is what we have now for the demo set at Gen Con, we have new miniatures for Aida Swanson, for example. Okay, and new miniatures for Cadmus, and new miniatures for uh, uh, already known Sasvasti troops. New miniatures that people is waiting with great expectation, like the Tiger Creatures of the Jade Cathroats, okay, are already happening in Defiance also. And we have, and can show you here another alternative miniatures for Victor Messer, Autonomous Agent of Chaos, okay, a character from the Sasbastis. And we have, have miniatures here, the Guaylo, and characters from the Combined Army, uh, troops like the Caronti, that will also happen in this game. So, lots of stuff are going to happen, okay. So, finally, you have seen nothing yet. That's all I can tell you, because when the campaign explodes, it's going to explode all over the internet with lots of lots of stuff, okay? And unlocks, and, and extras, and stuff. It's a Kickstarter, okay? So we're going to play that game in order to deliver this game, and it's going to be so awesome. So believe me when I'm saying this, okay? So expect the Kickstarter campaign to be launched at the fall of 2019, okay? This game is going to be fully compatible with Infinity, okay? And many miniatures from Wildfire, for example, are totally playable in Defiance also, okay? Because there's a rust and all the stuff. So, great things happening for the final part of the year with Defiance. 
So, pretty exciting news, right? I mean, lots of content here because now Corvus Belli has three games, okay? We have Aristea, Infinity, and now Defiance. Lots of renders, lots of previews, lots of stuff. Comment what you like more, okay? Because we have lots of exciting news to tell, right? Well, maybe we have another one to tell you right now. Yes, M4. Click like and subscribe.